So, how do you make a frog light in Minecraft? Well, let's show you. The easiest way to do this is to start off by going into the mangrove and what you don't want to do is find frogs. Now, it's best to go ahead and get a breeding situation going first. So, if you have like, you know, an area blocked off, you know. Huh, I'm not gonna actually build this, I'm just gonna teach you about how it works so you can go build it yourself. But just an area where there are frogs that are living in here. Let's pretend you have a couple. And then you're breeding them with slime balls, right? Then they'll lay their eggs and create tadpoles. And then you'll get more frogs that'll look like this. So you have a bunch of frogs. Now that's the easiest way to do okay? The next thing you need to do then is to make a portal to the nether. And more often than not, it's easier to put it with the frogs. Like this. Okay. And then you can either try to push the frogs in or use a lead to try to pull them through, right? <laughs> of course, I'm doing this in creative. It's easier in survival. But some of them will just jump through by themselves and get teleported there. Or um, you can pull them in by yourself using a couple leads, right? And you do that until you get, you know, frogs into the nether. Oh, there it goes. Is he getting teleported? Come on, for why are you not teleporting? He should be teleporting. Let's go see if any of them got teleported in. Oh. Oh, what are the odds of that? <laughs> okay, that's that's completely rare. Look at that. Okay, let's see. Gotta try this again. I wonder if we need to do this in survival. Come on, frogs. Come on, frog. Where's the other frogs? Oh, he already got away. Okay, I'll try to pull the one in. Come here, frog. There he goes. Okay. Sometimes you have to use leads. But see, now we've gotten into the nether. Now, to be honest, this is actually not a good place to spawn because you want to spawn where there are magma cubes. So if this spot didn't work, you might want to go place your portal somewhere else. Or you want to go find a place like Basalt Deltas. Basalt Deltas are the best place to go. And build a path there. And then use your leads to truck them over there. And what you want to do is create a ground where you're going to have a bunch of frogs in the magma cubes. So let's go ahead and just go... Locate biome. We want to find Basalt Deltas. Oops. Ah, I'm not doing this very well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we're in the basalt deltas. And somewhere within this vicinity, you got to be really careful. I would uh, actually put it near the f end here, you know. We're going to want to build a little pit or something for frogs. Again, you can make this bigger and nicer. You just don't want your frogs getting out. Okay. Now let's go ahead and pretend like you've already got a bunch of frogs in here. Now. Of course, you can't be unpeaceful. That's important. Now, magma cubes, oh, there's one right there, are going to start spawning. And if I were in survival, I would actually get close enough so it would start chasing me. And you're going to want to start running down towards your frogs. And once you get there, you're going to have to kill them to the point where they're just small magma cubes. So let's go ahead and show you just how this works. I'm going to spawn one right here and damage it. Okay. 
Waiting for the frogs to eat them. Come on, frogs, eat them. That's the main point right there. Is the frogs have to eat them. Let's spawn a bunch of frogs, okay? Oh, there he ate him. Oh, he did it! Frog light! We got one! Did you see how that worked? When the frogs eat little magma cubes, they turn into frog lights. Okay, that's how you do it. And, he, ooh. and you can see, obviously, this pen I've made for the frogs is not near good enough. We're going to have to make it... I'd make it, like, four times, maybe even ten times bigger. Make a big one and make it the walls really high. And then you can just start, you know, trailing the magma cubes into there and killing it until they're just little ones and let your frogs eat them. And then you've got, like, you know, a frog light farm, which is pretty cool. All right, you got it? Whew! Okay, now you understand the process. Uh, what you need to go through in order to get frog lights in Minecraft.